So once again, let's review these important terms. The independent variable, that is the variable that is manipulated. So that is the program. So for example, for Dana, that's the FIFA program versus the new warm-up conditioning program for soccer. Uh, your dependent variable, what is your outcome? So for um, example, you know, what do you want to see changes in? So you want to see improved balance and coordination in uh, Dana's study. So strength and balance. So that's what he wants to measure as a result of implementing his program. There are some categorical variables. So sometimes you want to examine the effect of age and gender or ethnicity in programs. Um, extraneous variables, such as called a covariate, we'll explain that uh, soon. So it's something that you may need to take out and you may need to hold constant. And then of course your control conditions. So a condition that doesn't get the treatment, that's a placebo, or in, for example, in Ryan's case, it's the education only condition. So true experimental designs, and I think we've touched on this. You have to have some manipulation of the independent variable. So a lot of us are doing that Randomization of participants, we don't always have that where we're going to randomly assign. A lot of us are using groups that are convenient to us such as athletic teams or classes. So it's not a true experimental design. That doesn't mean it's necessarily bad, but a lot of people in the real world are not able to do a true experimental design and a control group. So, but some of us are going to have a randomization um, with Mallory, she's going to have randomization of her participants. So hers will actually be a true experimental design. So we'll go through the different designs, you know, post-test designs, pre- and post-test, and other types of designs. As I mentioned with the covariate, this is a distractor variable which can affect the results. So if you are looking at something like age or maturation or body mass index or body weight. So, you know, sometimes you can take that out of the analysis. When you look at large scale studies, sometimes they will take out things like body mass index, BMI, smoking status, age. Um, sometimes you have to look at a covariate. When you randomly assign your subjects to conditions, sometimes you will, you know, that should equal out that you should have same number of men and women, approximately same age, uh, mean in each group, you know, and, and other factors, but sometimes that m may not happen. You maybe have randomly assigned the subjects to the conditions, but say one group is older than the other, or one group has more men than women than the other. So sometimes we have to control for that in the analysis. Or you have something that is very highly correlated you know, that has a relationship to your dependent variable. And, you, um, you know, we may or may not need to look at any covariates in your own data. It's probably unlikely, but you may see this in the literature that you um, read, you know, that they may take something out of the analysis. So how do we get rid of noise in the data? You know, how do we get rid of extraneous variables? How do we reduce error in the studies? You know, if you can always do a randomization, it's always best. Um, you can hold variables constant. You can look at single genders, um, you know, versus mixed genders. But, you know, that doesn't really necessarily have practical application. Um, you can build it into the design. So you can have both males and females. So you're not going to have a gender effect. You can match subject characteristics. So, for example, if you've got a, a group of people, you may, may want to compare, say, say on body weight, the smallest male with the, in one group with the smallest male in another group. Or you may want to match students based on age or perhaps their uh, type of disability. Using subjects as their own controls, this is what Mallory's going to do with her Wingate study, a crossover design. So they're going to be randomized. They're going to do the Wingate test either with or without music. We'll have a period of rest and then we'll come back and do the opposite condition. So it is entirely um, possible uh, to have, have a good design that way. And you know we may need to look at covariates for some, uh, for some of you, but not very likely.